Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. Today, in today's video, I'm going to be spotlighting red-tailed hawks. If you're not sure what a red-tailed hawk is, then this is the video for you. You're, we're going to cover um, how to identify a red-tailed hawk, and we're going to look at them in depth. So, hold on to your seat belts, and um, let's just fly through this. So, how to identify a red-tailed hawk? Number one is movement, number two is color, number three is size, number four is diet, number five is habitat, and number six is range. Um, this is really useful when you're um, identifying any bird, really, but um, today we're going to be covering red-tailed hawks. So um, let's move on. Number one is movement. Red-tailed hawks will soar over open fields, pastures, or meadows for hours at a time. They do this so that they can stay up high and they soar on thermals, which is just like hot air rising from the ground, which allows them to effortlessly fly over pastures, fields, and meadows for hours at a time. They do this um, so that they can find their prey easier, and if you watched my last video, you'll know that raptors especially red-tailed hawks, have extremely good vision and can see a mouse from a hundred feet away. So being at a height, um, being high above meadows, fields, or pastures where mice like to hide is a really good vantage point for red-tailed hawks. They will also perch in, open, in an open tree, in a field, meadow, and they will also perch in conifer trees. Conifer trees are just like pine trees. Um, and they, like I said before, they perch in an open tree in a field or meadow or pasture because this gives them a good vantage point to find their prey, such as mice, um, rabbits, and some reptiles, and we'll talk about that later in the video. So, um, yeah, you're gonna have to wait till then. Number three is they will dive at their prey with great speeds once they f um, see it from their vantage points, whether that's a tree or a pie and um, they dive extremely fast at their prey and outstretch their talons and catch their prey. And they are pretty accurate. I would say that a red-tailed hawk catches its prey in eight out of 10 times that it tries. Number two is color. Um, a red-tailed hawk's colors are fairly simple. Um, number one is they have a light or dark brown head and back. They have white or creamy, uh, white or creamy breast and an undertail. And sometimes the breast is speckled with dark or light brown spots. Um, this is really common with red-tailed hawks. Their breast will be speckled. They have light yellow legs and a reddish-orange tail, which is where they get their name, red-tailed hawks. And I bet you're wondering, what's next? Well, let's find out. Size. So we're going to talk about size of a red-tailed hawk. Um, the size of the red-tailed hawk can vary. Um, but the most red-tailed hawks will be 18 to 26 inches, as you can see right down here. Um, it says the red-tailed hawk is a very large bird and is uh, capable of capturing a jackrabbit with its sharp talons. Now, if you're not familiar with a jackrabbit, jackrabbits are pretty big. Um, some jackrabbits are bigger than some small dogs, so um, and birds of prey, especially the red-tailed hawk, prey on those. Um, so, like I said earlier, it's about 18 to 26 inches and has a wingspan of 3 to 4 feet on average. Next thing we're going to talk about is their diet and habitat. So, I'm just covering two of the things that we're going to talk about in this video because there's not much to talk about either of them, really, since I've covered diet in another video and habitat is pretty uh, similar to what I've been talking about, about open pastures and meadows. So I'm covering two at once here. Um, so red-tailed hawks, their diet is primarily mammals, as you can see here, jackrabbit. Um, they'll also eat snakes and lizards at times, and they will occasionally eat, um, yeah, but they'll occasionally eat birds um, when they get desperate enough. Red-tailed hawks are very adapted to lots of different habitats, and they can live pretty much anywhere except in the extreme cold. So, um, red-tailed hawks can live anywhere, and you'll see that um, on the next slide. So, where do red-tailed hawks live? I bet you're wondering from this slide. Well, they live uh, all over, all of the U.S. and even some of Canada. So, 
some of the red tail hawks um they not they don't necessarily live there but they migrate up there as well so they'll go up to canada all the way down to mexico and alaska so they have a huge range and um red tail hawks are really interesting birds and so um if you guys did enjoy this video please like and subscribe this helps me out so much and um i want to keep doing this for you guys so um, if you could just do me a solid and hit the like button and the subscribe button and um, I will hopefully have some more videos out. Um, red tail hawks are such interesting birds. I hope that you learned at least one thing new. If you learned at least one thing new, please like the video. Um, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.